Just as a quick note before we start this, uh, this was uploaded to the main channel, The Hidden Levels. I do have a channel focused exclusively on Age of Empires content called Dizzy Age of Empires 2. I'll link down below in the description. Thank you. Okay, enjoy the video. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. This time we're focusing on the Victors and Vanquish DLC. And this is for the first mission, if you're in chronological order. The second roam by 455 CE in Geyseric. 406. So, this was a bit annoying to me because I'm not too much of a va vagrant type person. I'm not much of a, a vagabond, as they say. You know, I, I don't like to. I like to boom. I like building my cities up and booming. This is this mission's all about like running and moving, and not staying static. Which, you know, some people like, and that's okay. Or if you like me and you don't like it and you want to get it over with quickly, um. I hope this video helps, because it's the, st the strategy I found which works for me. So at the start, you just gotta move your troops forward and just kill these, uh, you know, people. Not too much, really. And once you kill all, the all these houses and stuff, you can move your your base. The town center is, is a new mechanic because, like, you unpack it and you pack it through the um, ox cut, which I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, they're, they're continuing to smash the buildings. Well, everything you, you know, you destroy, you get gold. And uh, this is the first place we're going to be kind of unpacking the ox cut. I remember having like, there we go, I like to re unpack over there. Next to the trees is next to sheep. Make sure to collect all the sheep. The vandals are a migrating people, traveling to wherever so yeah, the gimmick with this is that you, uh, you have to constantly move your town center and stuff. And you can only build limited buildings. So straight away, get the barracks up. To grow the tribe, to migrate. Train an ox cart and the town center. this is being played on the Xbox version, by the way, so other buildings will be you know, which is it's much harder to kind of control the units for obvious reasons. Local resources, so if you are struggling on Xbox, and I hope this video can help you, but yeah. They, they, when I was at the time of recording this, there was a, a bug where the UI glitches out, so you know kind of come across in this video, but I'll do my best to kind of explain my thoughts and, and processes and um, what to do. Now, you're playing as the Vandals, which is like a, a sub-civilization uh, of the Goths. And the Goths are known as an infantry civilization. So, your strongest bet is to go with infantry, specifically Huskarls. But there is a part later on where we're going to be switching to Cav just for a brief moment. Just cavalry. Um, yeah, so I use this this gun direct just to run down here. And just kind of scout this area and get these troops. These allies, and you're just gonna run back up. I remember the first time I I, uh, I run this mission, I just you know very messy. So I made like I believe I made five uh Huskals. And then you should have like a like you know an army. 28 people, quite sizable. Uh, make sure you know your, your villagers are doing the food stuff. Bring in this boar as well. I like to bring in boars. You're going to get ready for some console micro right now. Let's just go. And then and the boar starts running around the other way, and I was like, oh no. So I get the hits off. Normally it takes two arrows to, like, you know, if you only hit it once, I believe it, it might not follow you all the way. All right, time for the amazing ma ma micro. You ready? Oh. <laughs> I remember that uh, it must have been like the other recordings where I, I messed it up so bad. It was so funny. But, uh, yeah, you have your first kind of fun. So. The first part of the mission is just like clearing up this northern area, you know, you gotta take out these Frankish chieftains. Now normally you're probably meant to unpack your your um base, bring it up here. I 
By doing it for 55C, you have about 3 hours in game time, so you do have lots of leeway. But as I said, I I'm not like one for these kind of like vagabond missions, where you just like, you know, you don't get to boom. Because I'm a boomer, right? I like to build up my base slowly, you know, get lots of resources and just chill out. You don't get that. Yeah, you're constantly like being chased and stuff, and it's just, like, leave me alone. So, yeah. So, we just leave them attack what they're gonna do. And, uh, we're gonna upgrade to Feudal Age, because, you know, now's a good time to go to Feudal. Again, nothing too complicated at all. Just gotta continue crushing them. Again, try to destroy as many buildings as you can. Also in that part there, there's, there's sheep in the pen which you can bring back to your base here, which I'm gonna do, I believe. You know, goose, sheep, goats, a lot. A very important part of it in feudal age for me is because of the blacksmith upgrades, you know, obviously they're gonna make your your troops much stronger. There's not too much to say right now, but we're just, you know, taking out these buildings, getting that gold. Yeah, I believe with the Vandals you can't you can't make lumber camps, you can't make mills, you can't do anything. You just you know make a barrack here and there and uh Alright. So all these livestock you wanna bring them back. There's fifteen hundred worth of food, so bring them all back. Actually there's a few there I missed in the corner, so I'm gonna go and get them too. There we go, lovely jubbly. And uh Gonna send our troops forward now. Kill this base. There's a monk somewhere to the right, so we'll kill this first and then, you know. Alright, bring these back. Look at them all go, all those livestock. Again, just try to destroy as many buildings as you can, you know. Just get as much gold, resources, every little helps. And now I'm going to drop down the blacksmith. To be honest, at first I absolutely despised this whole mechanic, but it's kind of growing on me. <laughs> it's kind of growing on me, to be honest, but... I don't know, I, I just like to build my, my you know, my Sim City base, you know, I like my, my lumber camp, my mill, my mining camps. But, uh, alright, so. Wait, I upgraded to... Okay. So then I, I went for the cav upgrade and the attack for cav. You, you'd probably be better off getting the infantry attack there, but... Hmm, overall it doesn't really matter, you know. Scale burden. It's all good. We're gonna be, uh. We're gonna, we are gonna be using the, uh. Horse attack up, cav upgrade. Anyway, so, so it's okay. So, as I said, there's a section with a. Uh, cav. Right. Here's where we find the priest. Obviously, priest is a big help, gonna heal us. Right. And we're gonna. I'm gonna build the most Tuscals we can, which is, uh, three. Alright, and we get the scale, scale armor, scale barling armor, which is great. With forage bushes, game, and even farms further south. Train an ox cart at the town center to my As you see there as well, like, I like most of them trying to, like, harvest the food with only one on wood, but... So ensure you have enough wood yeah. To rebuild. It's, it's mostly, like, easy, smooth sailing. <laughs> Yeah. 
More Huskals. See, as I say, these kind of ones here, where, you know, I do like upgrading the infantry and cav. Because we're going to need them both anyway, so it's all good. Just keep trying to make Huskals for now. Spilt Frankish blood is justice. There we go, you killed the four chieftains. Sweet. I now I got about 800 wood. I also put on to food as well, so you know, I'm really getting as much food value as I can. And you get a bunch of sheep up here too, so you know. Alright, I know I'm Welsh. Less of the sheep jokes, please. Thank you. We're gonna send Gundrick down. I believe there's a small base also down there, so be big. Again, you just wanna like, you know. The Kipchaks are so useful to keep alive. Again, make sure to bring in all the livestock for all that extra food. Alright, so Gundrick down there has been attacked, so we're just going to bring him back. It's worth mentioning, it doesn't matter too much about like if your heroes die on this, to be honest. Like, you, you don't lose from them dying. I know it's the house I left as well, so I figured I might as well just... Uh, Take out that house for the extra gold as well, you know, never hurts. And again, gonna make another 10 Huskals. Now we're gonna attack those Yurts as well. We're going to hit them with our sword and they're going to go, Ow! It hurts! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I know. Unfollow. I know. is deserved. My bad. I, I like to just take out these buildings anyway, you know. It's free gold, you know. Free real estate. What can I say? Bring your monk over. Alright. We're gonna start packing this up now and moving along. Not not just yet, you know, we'll just finish up harvesting these uh final few sheep. We're just waiting for these. You know, bring up all the livestock is a real pain. Alright, now I finish up the sheep I'm packing up. And we're gonna start, you know. Life as a runaway. For some reason, I don't know why that the clamor for the chance to sack a Roman city, the plunder that can be taken like great for the vandals. I was grouping them all together, but they they were walking so wide. It's like normally they walk in like a tight formation. But the, the sheep were just going everywhere. The outlying villages villages are going everywhere. To raids. Terrible. Farms themselves can be captured and cultivated until they are exhausted. But yeah, take out this tower. It's just a landmark for me, really. The tower. You're gonna want the like once you hit this path, that's the the best thing you can do. Just take out our house as well, you know, extra gold, why not?
But I believe I used the priest here. I was like, where's my priest? And, you know, so you can make villagers, which is also another one of my things. I love making villagers, you know? I thought, well, we might as well take this villager as ours. Again, you don't have to do this. I just, you know. You know, free villager is a free villager, right? Look, it's like, they stop walking, they stop... The, the pathfinding in one of these patches just feels weird and off and... I don't know what was going on with it, I just... So yeah, as soon as you hit the river, you want to go like a little bit north, so... Yeah, it, it was constantly having to like, you know, babysit. The Sweeby King has been kidnapped by the Franks. He will give a great reward if she is rescued. And look, see, they, they stray off so much. I was, uh, I was just like, this, this is, you know, just, it's just great, isn't it? Especially when you can't. Um... You can't make more villagers. I think I actually lost a villager there. That's so annoying. For no reason. They're just like, okay, we're gonna stray. Yeah, as long as you hit this path here, you, you'll be on the right course. But I was getting really annoyed with how, like, just... They should all be, like, tight together, walking in one direction. Look, they, they're going just everywhere. It's like, what? what's going on? I don't know if it was just, like, the latest patch. There's, two, there's a few sheep there as well. Oh, oh, sheep. Another tower to take out. So we're just gonna, you know, take this tower out. And never, to the east, there's a. Uh, you could technically take out the blacksmith and stuff as well, but to the east, there's even more troops to pick up. So, you know, we are really like a marching band here, you know. Okay. Running away and collecting everything we can. These Sweeby, warriors of the German forests, are ancient friends. I'm just double check and making sure there's no, like, livestock going, like, north. This is terrible. Right. So, look, you see that there's sheep there, which I forgot about. It's, it's just, this part was really frustrating. I think that's why I, I, I really dislike this, folks. I don't like to, uh... I just don't like moving my troops when there's... There's villagers involved, and there's priests involved, and like the pathfinding to me feels a bit weird. Maybe it's just me though. And then on top of that, you're on console, so like trying to select individual troops is is a pain. See now, is it because of the the uh, mule cart, the ox cart, but the villagers just. They seem to be like spreading out so weird, and I, 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 I just don't know why. So I start for a bit. I'm like, come on, let's all come back together. They just didn't want to. They didn't want to listen. They'll just, you know. And there's a big city to your left there, so you want to kind of like not. You, you really don't want to be close to that. And look, look, the sheep are just. They're just. They're going all over the shop. And it was, it was so frustrating. So I, I was like, okay, we're just going to not try and move them all at once. We're going to first do the, the army. You know, maybe it's because, like, all the army and stuff are together. Dreams, the Vandal King sees a great city aflame and conquered by the Vandals. And try to avoid the Sacking Rome the small um, his people. But reaching the city settlement to your right as well. The and I accidentally killed a sheep there trying to move my villagers back. Which was, like, so annoying. So you just kind of want to keep moving them down south here. The and there we go. And just send them to this the of south point which appears. Now we've got to move our villages and livestock. And yeah, they were just spreading out. Look at that. It was really getting me annoyed. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to send my villages one by one. And, and look. Look at that. 
Like, what's going on? Single file, please. And already, it's stressful enough knowing you have, like, limited villagers. And I killed a sheep as well, which is like, God. But uh, I figured, you know, it is what it is, right? Remember, from what I recall, I think I lost a monkey as well. Because, you know, they walk, they walk so slow and... And the sheep's just like, I want to go to the base. Yeah. So, this is the next uh, bunch of free troops we're going to get, just, you know. Okay, my monk survived at least. There's also a third monk you'll get. Uh, slightly sad. Look, we lost the sheep. ancient <laughs> city called Carthage once challenged Rome. It is ordained that this will be the final and sort of So I was like, okay, we'll get that sheep back, you know, assistance after all. They will fulfill their destiny. But without boats, the vandals must first convert a Roman dock to make the journey across the sea. It just didn't, so I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just <laughs> hug the sheep. Like, down there is, is uh, another monk, so you have three monks now, which is really nice. So this is the point where we're going to start setting up our next base. I feel like it's the best base of operations here. Uh, trying to trying to mass migrate there was a nightmare. It really did stress me out. Holsa. Uh. See, I was really having navigation issues here. Right, so your troops should be safe there. And then they started chopping trees, and I'm like, ugh. Alright, so that little dome there is actually a nice safe spot, so... We're gonna send our troops forward again. All set. And now... When things can't get any worse... You get the monks. I mean, you know, to be honest, part of this is my fault for slowly sending them in, but... Uh, yeah. Look, and my troops are like, we don't know how to get inside. And at this point, I was like, going, really? Like, you just suddenly start splitting. I'm pretty sure there, there was something wrong with the pathfinding right now. But... It didn't feel like it normally feels. It... <laughs> So yeah, trying to like navigate these troops in these sections here was just annoyance. So it's, it's probably better to come from like more of the western direction there rather than going from the direction I came from. We're also gonna just take up some of these villages. You can convert them if you want. Actually, I probably could have converted them, but I was in kill. But I was angry because of those monks. You know, you know, it's like. You you're like, right, how dare you try and convert me? Actually, gunned it. You know, I was like, okay. It's a bit off more than I could chew. Let's, let's kind of run back. Poor gun, Derek. Yeah, I mean, if you want to convert those villagers, feel free to do so. Actually, it's probably better than what I did there and just... As I said, I had kill vision at that point. And then look, what's all this mess? Tonight, the warriors will sing songs for their dead brothers in the burning ruins of the Roman city. Uh, also, make sure you don't kill those farms, because those farms are going to be very important. You use your villagers to uh, attack the farms, but what they do is they uh, they'll convert the farm over to yours. Man. 
Holza. Again, just take over all these farms, make them yours. Uh, this is where I like to set up my base by here. Oh, it's, it's so buggy setting up the base as well. That also made me angry. Alright, so... Let's go. Nice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven farms here to, you know... So, okay, this is where our, our next base of uh, operations is going to be. Also, there's going to be, like, um, quite a lot of sheep, like, around here. So, yeah, we use our Kipchak here to just collect all the sheep as well. It takes so long to unpack the town. It makes sense, I guess, obviously, you know. Because if you could quickly pack and unpack it, you could just use it as like a mobile attack base. <laughs> Again, there's some more sheep down there as well. We're really trying to get, you know, as much uh, food as we can here. Uh, and look, like... Oh, it was doing my head in. It was. Alright, I created two villages to bring us up to ten. I garrisoned some just for safety, I believe, as well, so I was like... So this is where we kind of begin our mini boom, as they say, so... Hmm. I just remember being really salty because of all their movements, their patterns and stuff. I just weren't having a good time at all. Look, so, so now we're being... Uh, I think I said that we can't build villagers earlier. We can. Sorry, I just remembered that. It was the other mission. You can't build villagers. So yeah, you, you'll kind of start getting raid just a little tiny bit here. It's up to you if you want to garrison some villagers in the TC for the extra protection, but... You know. Try not to lose too many villagers, you know? And I thought I brought this priest down already, but no, I didn't. Alright, it's time to rebuild. We'll bring up a blacksmith, we need a Archery, sorry, an archery range first, then a stable. The reason we need two of these buildings is to go up to Castle Age. Otherwise you can't do it and that makes the mission much harder. Again, I made, I made three more villages. As I said, this is, this is going to be our little you know, base here for a little while, so... Those farms really, really help out. I got bloodlines, and I made five light cav for the moment, for the time being. And then we're also going to put a barracks down, doesn't matter where to, anywhere really. Get these to start, like, you know, collecting the foods. And sometimes they get they glitch inside the the town centre as well, which is annoying. Fix that though, just simply garrison them. 
See, look at that. There, this is sick. Look, I'm, I'm being a moaning myrtle now, and I'm sorry. But, like, it didn't feel like normal movement to me this whole, uh, whole game, so. Oh, God. More raids. Luckily, they avoid my villagers. So we're going to save about 800 food now for the next stage. I'm going to put a blacksmith over here as well. Yeah. The boom is on. Alright, so now we got our scout cows. We're going to use these to collect uh, more livestock as well. To be honest, I think I stayed in, in this place just a, a tad longer, but I figured uh, it was better for the safety, you know. I also noticed there was a, another raid coming in. I tried to convert one of these, but the scout, they snipe my monk so annoying. And then they try and snipe my villager, but I actually converted it by that point. So I figured I'd, I'll just garrison some villagers just for safety at this point. Alright, so we're going to go up to Castle Age. Now we've dealt with that. To be honest, I, I was a bit tilted, you know, with all the movements, the raids, the, the fact I didn't like this, this mission. But honestly, compared to the next one, this is like really fun. <laughs> You know, the next one is like your. Uh... Actually, I won't say I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Never mind. So. Alright. So, uh, chain bird armor, iron casting. You know, you want to try and. You get get the scale armor as well. You should have got that. Like. Well, I, I should have personally got that, you know, a long time ago. But I failed. But it doesn't matter. We're still here, you know. We're still surviving this settlement. Alright. Now we're gonna send our scout cows out. I was I was really paranoid about being raided again. You know, I, I just don't like to be raided. Don't forget, keep making the husk calls. All right, sir. And uh, down this wood line here. If you follow this wood line, there's gonna be more pigs, I believe. I think there's pigs. There they are. Pigs. And you can bring these pigs back. This was a, you know, part of the expert. I was just trying to bring the pigs back. And they're just like, no. No, I, I don't know. There, there was something going on with the movement on this game. I, I don't know what it was. But now we're in Christian. Uh, Christian. I've seen Christians on the screen. Sorry. Now we're in Castle Age. We need to like start chopping more wood. Oh look at that, my relax wood, really. So the main thing right now is, uh, you know, start building the monastery. So there's also some goose down here, I believe. More pigs, more goose, more sheep's. I'm just trying to bring back as much food as possible, really. I mean, if if you want more villagers, technically you can convert these, but I just wanted to kill them for the gold. I think you get four gold per kill. It's not much, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, sir. Hold set. So, yeah, right by here, there's goose. Bring the goose back. And down there, there's going to be, village again, more villagers farming with pigs, so, you know, you know what to do. Steal the pigs! Hold, sir.
And you do generally get a lot of leeway on this achievement, so... Yeah. Remember my first time doing it, I was like, oh no, I'm never going to do this, but... Yeah. The first time was actually super scrappy. <laughs> when I was, like, attacking the Franks, I, I lost my troops and then I had to fight with my villagers and... I'll probably edit it in the end, maybe. It was super funny. Alright, make a save here as well if you want. Just, you know, just our precautions. And the monastery goes up here. It doesn't because I was... Okay, so I think this was a slight glitch on this mission. But I was able to reseed the farms. You're not meant to. You're not meant to at all. Once the farms run out, they're out. But... <laughs> Somehow I seem to be like... Reseeding them. Right? Which is like crazy. So... I feel I might have done a mistake there in... in uh... I shouldn't have attacked with my scout calves because, you know, they get torn up by those troops. Bad fight by me. I'm sorry. I sent the monk over to start healing my troops. Alright, get. You know, you want to get chainmail, iron casting. Chain bar and armor. This will, you know, upgrade our cavalry troops and our infantry troops. Good. Keep on keeping on with the livestock. I went ahead and made another villager as well. So we got 16, we're gonna have 17 villagers. It's quite contempt with that actually. Uh, upgrade to light cav as well. Again, fletching. I was thinking, I was like, do I, do I want to spend fletching just yet? No. Okay, get chain barred and armor for your cav. It's basically you want to fully upgrade. Eventually, you know, you do want to fully upgrade your, your stuff. Obviously, don't upgrade your archers though, because we're not using archers. Alright, build a monastery. I say light cav is so useful because they only cost food and we have like an abundance of food. So I built 10 light cav. Because the biggest problem on this is right now is, is gold. But uh... You don't want to... So I got squires and arson, which will help uh, your troops, like, just be more destructive. Yeah. And, and quicker to move. Yeah. Oh, it's that. you got to research redemption there as well. It's very important. You, you need redemption for the next part. Because you're going to have to convert their uh, docks. Because otherwise we're going to be landlocked. Hey, sir. Holsa. Sorry, I like saying Holsa. Uh, so yeah, I the think... The first Huns ride into Gaul. The Vandals must venture deeper into Roman territory to oh, escape this threat. Make all the Huskals. Your force should be getting quite sizable now.
the reason we're building up is because like the next city so slightly below us to the south is, is quite quite defensive so yeah hmm Alright, you should have about 53 troops before you start thinking about moving a bit south. And yeah, attack the gate. So. Oh god, I forgot about that. Watch, watch out for the catapult. Luckily they opened the gate and the catapult was taken out. But there's, there's multiple troops inside there, you know. Uh, those monks are terrible. I don't know, I just... I don't like monks, they just, you know, they're so quick and everything. Make sure to stand ground on the gate as well, you know, so that you keep the gate open. Now I brought my priests forward. Ah, watch out, there's another mangonel there. Again, mangonels are very dangerous, they could be like very effective. And again, those monks were hell. Carefully, you don't bring your monks too far forward there. Yeah. Then I accidentally closed the gate. So I, I made a mistake then. I shouldn't have brought my kip. I should have kept my uh, kip track. I tried to convert the gate because I figured, you know, why not? But yeah, go back, destroy this gate if you want. Now that there's no troops in the north part of the city, you're pretty safe to do so. Yeah, I, I should have kept my Kipchak uh, on stand ground on the gates, but I made I went ahead and made twelve more scout calves. You're gonna need them for the next part anyway. But I was like, okay, let's heal up. We took quite a bit of damage there. That was that was it was good. We we took out a lot, but we also lost a lot. But that was me being sloppy, you know. I, I forgot with the mangonels. It's okay though, we'll, we'll slowly build back up again. We always do. Alright. So I just sent my troops uh, Send them in. This guy is a bit of annoyance. Now in this part, make sure your troops don't kill the docks. Because if they kill the docks, you're going to be in a... You're going to be in trouble. Actually... I went ahead with my monkey and converted the towers for no reason. I just thought it would be funny. Yeah, I went ahead and converted the tower. There you go, it's mine now. And you're gonna wanna again bring these priests to convert the dock. 
take out these troops. Just yeah, don't 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 kill the docks, okay? And watch out for those uh, rangers to the south there. Those archers, sorry. And I thought, I think I can, <laughs> I, I, was, I was being really funny here. I was like, you know what, I'm going to convert this tower as well, just for the lols. The Vandals learn quickly and can now take to the sea. Nothing can stop the Vandals from reaching Africa and sacking Rome. Ah, those, those monks, though, kill me. And we're only sending in light cows, though, so it's not really much of a loss. You don't need to convert that tower. I, I, I was just like being pop, like I was being quite pompous at that time, and there was actually a mangonel there to the south. Be really careful once more. You see it, the mangonel to the south. Just now be careful when you convert this third one because, as I said, there's a. Ah, to your left there. All right. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't really being conservative at all with my troops. I know my shepherds are out. So we're just going to send them all to chop wood. And we're going to build a transport ship. Two of them. And of course, you don't have um, murder holes. So we're just going to... Again, you, you don't need to like, convert this uh, tower. I just bought it for just for fun. All right. We got lots of gold from like destroying this half of the city. And now we're going to think about our favorite part. Move in. Right, onto the transport ship. Send them all. You want to go to the far south. Try and uh, keep an eye where I go with my troops. Right here. Again, the yellow are, ju are just really weak, honestly. So this is where you need the light cav, because like the light cav just, the light cav just destroy these troops. Look at that, they're, they're just gone. Bring over the priests. Destroy all these yurts. Now this is where we're going to migrate again. Luckily there's no livestock. Oh, I had made another five to light calf as well, just because I could. You know, they they only cost food, so it's really not not too bad at all.
All right, we're getting ready to move here. The migration begins. All right, we're going to use the light calf here. My light like, cap will be in feisty. Alright. Let's pack up the town center. Off we go. We're good with this now. There are all our villages down here. No trans push. Alright. Let's go. Be careful where your town center the waypoint is. Because that's... We, uh, ox cat is going to unpack and move to. So yeah, be really careful with that. Sayonara. Goodbye. You're a nice village. I'm going to miss you. Bye. Alright. Get everybody back onto the transport ship now. At least from the north, not south. Don't bring them back on this. Right, okay. Here we go. And off they come. Right. So we're going to use that light cav. And bring Kundarik if you want as well. This is my favorite part because like have just they just destroy they just destroy pure and simple so follow the map there we go take out these troops look at that they just they just melt the enemy there Now, now we're going to want to bring these down south as well. Ah, oh, be careful with this, because again, they spread out so much. And to your north, there's like... Ay, ay, ay. So, look at the sheep to the north there. So strained out so far. <laughs> Truly is annoying. Shout out to the dromedaries. So there's more enemies to your left as well. So. I like how like om nom 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 nom. Again, there's some being left behind and I have no idea why. Again, the light cover just chewing through these. I was just looking back, make sure I ain't the guy anything. Now you're going to want to start move these at this. Alright. Look at this mass migration right here. We're off. Hold, sir. Drometry hype. Alright, there's another base you see there. It's just a little tiny base, so... The final Vandal homeland is in sight. Settling there will finally end the migration. Woot woot. Uh, 
Again, if you ever become low on food, like, uh, because of the farms re not receding, you can always, like, like, right now, like, unpack this town center and just, like, harvest those livestock right now. If you're ever, like, worried, but you got plenty of time still. We're still in 4 2 to 5. And the achievements for 455, so, you know, we got a good 20, 20, 20 years. So that, that, that takes out yellow. Oh, yeah. Again, I, I don't like to spend time on this part. Like, yeah, you're, you're so close to Carthage, it just feels pointless. Make a save here, just in case as well. I always like, just, you know, shout out Jan Zizka. All right. Again, notice south there's livestock going back. Like, and sorry, I mean there's idols on his belt, but I don't know. The livestock was annoying me. Let's get healed up some. Wallalo, wallalo. Hiyo, hiyo. Wallalo. Wallalo. Hiyo. Sorry. I said to do it, you know. All right. Move forward now. Bring your cart with you as well, because we're going to need the cart. Follow this path, you should be good. We're finally coming up to the end of the mission, so this gate here, just walk right up to it. And they should open the gate for you. And in you go. It was a bit annoying trying to like move all of them up, but... Main thing is... Unpack the mule cart right in the middle there, between the flags. And kaboom! Take care of the troops in the north. And our migration is finally over. We can boom. Yay! I put the automation on there for basic, but uh, I also... Uh, you want to get murder halls and ballistic from the university. Very important. Because um, we're going to castle drop. You don't have to get like horse collar and stuff. I just I got double pit at pit at horse horse collar and just uh, when you're using the automation as well, unless you're on PC, make sure to delete these farms because your village is going to try and walk over there, which you don't want them like just strolling halfway across the desert just to die. It'd be a waste of your villagers. So go to these docks as well. Start building fire fire ships. Between 15 to 30, I believe. Also, okay. we're gonna wanna go and we're gonna wanna go to, go to Imp Imperial Age. Oh, look! Look at all these. This is stupid. Build a lumber camp wherever you want as well. Just because this tree lies not too much, but again, it's not really. I was just more excited I could build lumber camps and stuff without worry. I got heavy plow. Um. Yeah, go to Imperial Age. Get Town Watch as well, why not? So the next part is going to be castle dropping, so that's why murder halls are important. Fire ship hypes. Don't worry about the transport boats, they're going to break. They're not important at all. Well, actually, they are important, but oh. we can just—we just have to build a, you know, we just have to build two more of the docks. 
I went ahead and created five more villages as well. So we only have six fire galleys right now. And we're going to want to make more. More, I say, more. Our resources are looking goody now, eh? So get Fletching. Fletching is going to be really useful now. As I say, if we're going to castle drop, we're going to need all the damage and stuff we can get. And Imperial Age. Here we go. Imperial Age comes in. Uh, Bodkin Arrow. And get Blast Furnace. Increase the attacks. Again, keep making fire galleys. For some reason, I couldn't upgrade them to fast fire ships. I can't remember. Maybe it's because I don't have chemistry or something. No, I don't know what. I don't know what I need. This is... Yeah, we're uh, on the final stretch. Also get Bracer. You know, very important to get those Balkan Arrow Bracer. Uh, as again, they increase the damage from your castle in range. Alright. And thank you all so much for sitting and watch, watching this with me. If you made this this far, just put in, in the comments hi or something. Get Town Patrol as well. You know what? We're in a good mood. Get get the Town Patrol. So once you have about like 15 fire ships, we're going to still, we're going to make 18, I think. We end up at eight. Change, uh, build two transport ships for the North Point there. So I think I went ahead and built three. I pushed the boat out. This is going to be our loading up points. Also, I went ahead and queued up more villagers. Alright, so these fire ships will take care of these galleys. The sea is still a Roman lake, and their fleets block the way to Rome. The uh, you want to go to the left of this? You see there's a small island right the there. Sea. To the left of it is, the, is our ideal path. Move up the Italian peninsula by land. I accidentally brought the... Um, what was I doing now? I think I killed another five villagers. That's right. So we want to tr try and keep this passage here cleared. Watch out for the Droman. Roman Roman. So yeah, I, I like sense five villages up there. But ideally you just want to get as many villages as you can up there. Hold so. Keep scouting with the fire galleys up here. Keeping the waters clean. Rome, the greatest city in the world, so, is now. Right this is the the of say Rome. We're gonna be ending it on. And this part here is gonna be uh, well, if you keep going, just uh, right here. This is gonna be our landing zone. Sweet. So we're just going to clear out this as well. Yeah. 
Again, there's lots of... Uh... Be careful in the middle, though, because there really is lots of boats. Bring them back just to patrol the straight to the left. Again, you have to be careful. Because we don't want our transport ships getting blown up now, do we? So put all the villagers in the ships. We want about like 20 villagers. I think 20 villagers is a nice count. And I brought up these, you know, another seven. But just basically bring as many villagers as you can. Hold sat. I, I, the goat was trying to hop on as well. I was like, it's not Jonah's art. Come on, get back. Back to the farm you go. And I just sent these villagers just to start harvesting these livestock. Because that, that goat, it's because of that goat. If that goat didn't try and get it on, you know. All right, so this here is going to be our landing spot. Now be very careful with these uh, landing ships because it's so easy to get them lost. Just so be cautious, okay? Uh, now we're going to use the market, okay? So we're going to um, sell some food and wood, and then we're going to buy stone. Just hold on. I just... Uh... All right. So again, be very careful. I know even if it looks clear, just be careful because it's so easy to get these ships lost. You'll see now because I, I thought, okay, well, I killed everything. And again, I made a save. I was getting nervous because things were going too quiet. Ululu, ayo, ayo. Press save. And my intuition was kind of right. I was like, hold on, it's too quiet here. What's going on? And see, look at that. It's so easy. Just like, I look away just for a second and it's like, your transport ships are being killed. And we're going to land right here. Again, okay, just... Land right here. Alright. Use our villagers to buy a castle. We're going to build it right here. Don't worry about the towers and stuff. They really can't do much. Well, they can, but not enough. And then we're going to build another castle here. Right there. You're going to be attacked and you're probably going to lose a few villagers. It's okay. The main thing is just to get this castle up. And just garrison them safety. Now, bring the two back up. Right, okay. So... You, I don't, yeah, get chemistry if you want to. Uh, that's, I'm kind of getting up to a point where I remember now where, I'm, where I, I get embarrassed. All right, buy stone. 699, 799. I, look, get elite husk girl, conscription. And, uh... I don't want to talk about this now. Let's 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 not talk about this. So I build a castle. I'm like, right, let's build another one here. But I forget, guys. I forget there's a mangonel right there. 
I forget there's a mangonel. Now, I should have gone back. <laughs> I should have gone back. But I ended up doing a doubt castle. <laughs> I ended up doing it. I don't want to talk about it. I thought I could take it. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll just go back with these. In fact, maybe a better plan would have just been for my villagers just to rush the uh, the the catapult there and just take it out. But Doubt castle incoming. Look away now. So, like, I don't want to talk about it, please. Let's, let's not bring it up. This didn't happen. <laughs> Doubt Castle confirms. <laughs> oh no. And then I was really upset with that. I was really upset. So anyway, build. Build four trebuchets. Go on, just why not. Oh, I feel so bad about that Doubt Castle. What can you do? Uh, and it kind of got into my head because <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here. But I was like, okay, let's just lure out with a scout and get an easy kill. <laughs> and I was having a nightmare at this point. I was like, oh no, I've got this far for the raccoon. Okay, let's snipe him now. Okay, phew. And then I do get it. I do get it. The main thing is get rid of that man, and I'll... And... Just start, like, with the trebuchets, just start clearing the walls and buildings. I was gonna buy some more stone, but look at the gold. So I sold some food and wood. Just to get some more gold. In fact, you, you don't really need a third castle. You can just, honestly, just sa save the gold instead of, having to, instead of doing what I did. So I was attacking the walls here with the trebuchet. Just trying to, like, clear some, some room up, you know. In fact, I... I was noticing my situation, so I was building the stable just so I can spam some more light cav. Luckily, I kept two villages back, but. Uh... I just wanted to take out this tower as well for no reason. I think the main thing here is when you land, just attack the walls first. You know, you're protected by your castles. You got Huskels there. And it's just to get rid of the walls. Now there are scorpions up there, which, you know, be, be a bit aware of. So yeah, just start knocking down the walls here. I can't believe I got Doubt Castle, but it is what it is. Also, alright, let's just start clearing up some things here. Uh, those monks. The monks make me very upset. Alright, so we're going to take down our first monument here. And clear up this mass by here too. Again, watch out, there's another Manganel the north. Now luckily your elite Huskars are pretty strong. The Arch of Constantine. The main thing for me was taking out those scorpions and the siege weapons. And of course the Manganel. Okay, so I wanted these to pack up
Again, there's another Manganel down there as well, so be careful. And I noticed there's, there's a straggler troop there, but you should be okay, honestly. Let's attack the Colosseum, is that right? I was just spamming at this point, spam like I have. The main thing is to destroy these three buildings here. You know, two, two Colosseums. Oh, I was like, oh no. Look how close my. Uh... There goes down one building. Yeah, as long as you like establish like a beachhead on this position, you'll you'll be fine. Like they're pretty static, fortunately, the uh, enemies. And those monks are upset, to say the least. And yeah, so that, that's the mission done. That's, that's the achievement. Well, tooted my horn a bit early, but... You know, the main thing is destroying those three monuments in the castle. And that's, uh, you know, we did it by 432 CE. So as you can see, you, you do have some, like, headroom, some leeway. And the, the Manganel actually starts attacking my like, trebuchet there and kills it. But there's the achievement. All right, y'all. Thank you so, so much for watching again. That was a long video, and, uh, well, yeah, luckily, game ended, and, uh, this is free play now, so, what can I say? Just end when you, wherever you want to end, and keep, keep playing if you want. It's the end for me, um, I hope to see you in the next video, okay? Thank you all so, so much, let me know in comments if this helped you, and, uh, yikes, what a mission. Alright. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.